so sorry it's been so long since I've had a video up. Along with my usual back issues, I've now got, well, for the past few while I've had, I've got sciatica, which is really, really painful. And my leg, all the way down to my foot is, I've got like really bad pains in it from my back right down to my foot. And I've got like numb sensations. It's a real pain in the neck. I'll just quickly tell you, I'll quickly explain it. And then I'm not going to moan. But, and then my back's going on and off into spasm, which is called causing scoliosis. And at the moment I'm having to walk with a walking stick. So it's been a little bit awkward. I've been kind of hobbling about and trying to do what I can do during the day. And then at night time I have to take medicine, including things like diazepam and stuff, which makes me a bit sleepy. And I, that's usually when I would film my videos at night time. And I've not wanted to come on and be all like, well, dopier than usual, you know, like a little bit sleepy. So, but I'm here with you today. This is during the day and I'm going to film three videos in a row. The first one I'm going to do, this one is going to be, let me see, jumbo sale. I hobbled along to a jumbo sale yesterday and then I've got some stuff that I got from a car boot sale ages ago, I think it was about two months ago or something. So I've got that for you there. And I've also got a couple other hauls. So I'm going to do my very best to just sit here and film three videos in a row. So at least I've got some videos up for you to try and make up for the fact that it's been so long. Also, I've been trying to get myself better because I've been trying to like rest and do things to try and stretches and exercises to try and get rid of this because my, I'm, I'm talking a hundred miles an hour. I know I'm, I'm extremely nervous because it's been so long. Um, what happened was we had planned to go down to Reading. That's my, I had family that stayed down in Reading and we were planning on going down there the first week in August. But what's actually happened is my grand's feeling not too well just now. She's got a couple of things going on. She's not feeling that great. And my family that stayed down there are going on holiday the first, I think it's the first two weeks in July. And so I'm going down to Alexander and I are going to fly down on the 28th of June to be there for the two weeks with my gran while you know the, the family are on holiday so she's not by herself and then which I'm really looking forward to because I love spending time with my gran so we're going down then and then my mum and Mark and Davina are going to come down as was planned in August because there was no point me going down and then coming back up for a couple of weeks and then going back down again especially because I don't travel particularly well I get really bad travel sick and then with this going on I didn't want to like have to do any more traveling than I had to so basically we're going down for just short of six weeks Alexander and I are and then like I said at the end Davina um is my daughter if you haven't watched this video Alexander's my son I'm, we're going down and then they're coming to join us so I might try when I'm down there see how things go and maybe like put some wee videos together or whatever which I will then need to find some way to send to Mark so that he can edit them because you know he's the one that always edits the videos anyway there's a big long explanation let's get started like I said this stuff I've not got very much from the car boot sale it was actually it was a couple months ago way before this sciatica issue. I actually did a car boot sale, selling a load of stuff with my mum and I just had a wee wander around while we were there and I picked up a couple of bits. First thing I'll show you, it's not particularly exciting, it's just a, a dish towel but I like the patterns on it, it's got all these different flowers, it says wild flowers of the country. This was a pound which is a bit expensive for car boot sales, so normally for like something like this would be like 30 pence or 50 pence but I thought it was really nice, it needs a wee iron, but I thought it was really nice and I got it. And when Mark makes rice, he always covers it up with a tea towel. I don't actually like these tea towels, I prefer ones that are like toweling. But when Mark makes rice, he covers up the, I don't know, he puts like a thing on it and then puts a, I don't know what he does, but he uses a tea towel. And I don't like the other ones because you can get like fluff and lint off them, whereas these ones you don't. So pretty much this is for mark to make rice and if it was like sitting out in your kitchen this goes with my kitchen because my kitchen is this kind of colour and sort of you know country kind of themed so got that for a pound other things i got from the car boot sale were candles these were i think these ones were meant to be two for five pounds and then the other ones i'll show you were two for three pounds but it was coming to the end of the day and the woman just said i, th I can't remember how much she said but she, she gave me them for a discount anyway so i didn't even pay as much as this this is the mainstays candle which i really like i've had these before this is in the scent fresh cotton and it's a three wick candle and it smells just exactly like fresh cotton like you would expect it to smell i don't know if you can see that with the glare but it's just white it smells really lovely like that fabric conditioner -y kind of smell oh, hold on <laughs> i should probably had something i've got like a what do you call it like drawers at this side in fact i got these drawers at the jumbo sale yesterday for two pounds i will put a picture in at the end of that to show you what they look like because i'm not going to be able to like lift them up but i'll show you what that looks like i also got a giant pillar which is sitting to this side of me it's like I think it's about this size like it's 
really really big and I got that for five pounds as well so I'll put at the end of the video I'll get Mark to put in like a little picture of the drawers the drawers are just like little drawers but they were just so cute and they were two pounds and I couldn't resist it and I didn't really need them but it was one of those things that I was like I'm sure I'll find some sort of use for them so I think these are going to go in my bedroom my bedroom's sort of in the middle of getting decorated it's now pink it used to be cream it's now pink but we're not going to finish decorating it until we come back now with all the you know going away and all that so anyway it's pink just now that's where I'm I'm in my bedroom the other one I got of the mainstays candle is harvest leaves which is more obviously like an automate type scent it's more like your like cinnamony spicy type thing three wick one again it's, it's kind of autumn oh I just I think there must have been dust on that and I've sort of inhaled it anyway it's a really nice smell I might keep that sometimes even in the summer I like at night time sometimes these like sort of warmer cinnamony type um smells it just it's like it kind of smells a little bit like gingerbready cookie doughy type that type thing and I, I don't know there's something comforting about it so I might keep this for autumn or I might burn it out I'm not sure so there's that and the other ones I got are these I'm really annoyed there's a lavender one in here and it smells so good and I'm annoyed that I didn't get more of the lavender ones because I'm not often at the, this car boot sale and if I can find anywhere else that sells them I will definitely be stocking up in the lavender ones because they're gorgeous this one is the sweet vanilla it says there's 25 hours of burning these are just like the little tin ones they're quite a nice little design what is the um Baltus is the make Oh, this is lovely. This is a two wick candle. This actually smells, this is called sweet vanilla, but it's actually got that kind of bakery, kind of, you know, like nutmeg and vanilla kind of smell. That's really nice. That's one I would definitely burn just now, so I really like that. And I like the bigger ones for my dining table and my the little ones for my little coffee table, so I like that. Sorry if I'm going off the camera too. Um, put the stuff down. This one is pure cotton. I don't know why I got a pure cotton in this one. I got a, the pure cotton in that, but you can't go wrong. You can burn these any any time of year. They're just really nice. It again smells like this one actually smells like this is blue and it smells sort of exactly like Febreze. You know, like when you it smells exactly like Febreze. Yep, this has got a nice fresh Febreze type smell to it. And I really should have had something, so I'm not just like, I can't really bend down to put it on the floor, so I'm just like kind of chucking stuff. Anyway, this one is soft pink geranium. I don't really like floral type scents, but geranium is Mark's favourite flower, and he loves the smell of this, so this was picked up just to sort of keep Mark happy. Again, the two bit, this is a nice pink colour. It's very, very floral. If it wasn't for Mark, this is one I probably wouldn't have picked up, but it's actually a nice smell. It's slightly sweet and very, very floral. It's... It is a nice smell and it'll be a nice one to burn for summer. And the last one is, it's called Lavender Mist and it is absolutely gorgeous. You know because of my grand, like our house smells like lavender and so any type of lavender candle, air freshener, anything, I always buy it. And I'm really, really wishing that, it's kind of the end of the day and I was just, that's, they were actually packing up the stuff on that stall. I think that's why the women just bundled it all in and gave me it for cheaper. But I'm really wishing I'd picked up one of these because this is gorgeous. It smells like real lavender as well, not like that synthetic -y lavender. It's really, really lovely. I love that. If I'm back there, I'm literally just going to buy stacks and stacks and stacks of them. Right, so that is all the stuff. Apart from the pillar, like I said, I'll show that at the end. The pillar, I think I'm going to put, I've got like a little porch bit at my front door and I may put the pillar there with a little, I don't know, like vase thing on top of it or plant pot type thing on top of it. Either that or it's going to go in my bedroom and I might set like a lamp on top of it. It's got cracks and stuff down it. It's needing like a little bit filled. I got it for a fiver though and it's solid wood and it's very, very big. But it's needing a little bit of work done and painted and stuff like that. I might either have it in my room with a lamp on it or on my little porch bit. It's pretty windy where I am, so where I live. Like we get hit pretty, where our house is, we get hit quite a lot with wind. So if it was to go on my porch, I'd probably have to secure it down somehow because... It would no doubt get blown over, even though it's pretty sturdy. Anyway, on to the little church sale. They have this, I, th I think they have this once a year, and I absolutely love it. It's in our local church, and I managed to hobble there, like holding on to Mark's arm and hobble with my walking stick there, but we had to get a taxi back because about, by the time I had walked around the little place, and I had to sit down maybe about five times within the time of being in there, and we were only there for about half an hour, but 
I managed it, I made it round and I picked up some things. I just love this little church sale. It's nice to like support your local community as well, but I just love this little sale. This was 40 pence. It's a nighty and it's by Rosha John Rosha. It's a size 12 and you know like when you, you can just tell when you pick something up that it's never been worn before, like it's brand new, it's never been worn or washed. This is definitely brand new and it's just a cute little, I don't know if you call that like a baby doll type style. It's like cotton, but it's just a little bit different. I don't know, it's a little bit fancier than like a t-shirt style nighty. It's got lace round the bottom, it's got lace round the neck and then the bust sort of cinches in and gathers like this and I just thought it was a really pretty like summer type nighty and it's got butterflies and flowers all over it and it's just a nice grey colour. I like this grey sort of cottony material. Anyway, and it's got a cute wee bow so I got that and it was 40 pence. And, oh, itchy nose. The next thing I got, this is a bit of a strange thing to buy. There's none of the stuff that I got, because I only got it yesterday, none of these have been washed and I will wash this on a very, very hot wash to make sure it's like nice and clean because it's a sheet. It is a double fitted sheet, but it's a vintage double fitted sheet and it's got this, you can tell it's vintage. I'm trying to hold it in a way that the light's not going to glare off it. It's this very vintagey pattern, but you can tell like, obviously I've got pink in my room, it's going to be pretty much primarily pink and white. You're not actually going to see this because I'm probably going to have pink bedding on top of, eh, it's not pink bedding, white bedding on top of my bed. This is just for underneath it and I really like the feel of it and I just love the fact that it's vintage. But when my room's decorated and this is a fitted sheet and it look, you won't actually see it, this is just for me to look at and I just liked it because it's vintagey and that was 50 pence for that. It does actually smell nice like somebody's washed it before they've handed it in. As there's most of the stuff in that place, it's like all really like nice and everything's all nicely laid out and it's just, it's not like one of those jumbo sales where you're going and everything's just kind of all over the place. It's all, it's very well organised and it's all neatly laid out. Anyway, pick that up. Next, what, did I say how much that was? Yes, it was 50 pence. These I got for 50 pence. I thought these would be good for taking down, look, pretty much just blends in with the wall. Um, these are like neon pink, like hot pink sort of neon shorts. That is really glary. I don't know where are these from originally. Um, originally from New Look. These are a size 12 and I'm going to chuck these in the washing machine and I'm going to take them away on holiday with me and they're just pretty much just plain shorts, little pockets on them and they'll be nice with a little vest up or whatever. If I'm going to be down there for six weeks, I plan on, it's usually warmer down there, so I plan on having my legs out all the time and getting a little bit of colour on them. Another thing I picked up, these were from, I think, Dem Denim Co, that's Primark, I think. These are size 12 and they're just, they're, they look like they're really faded, but they're meant to be faded. They're just little cropped, just below the knee, like capri type jeans, but they're not like a thick denim. denim. They're like a, they're very, very thin and very lightweight and they're stretchy so I think these will be really really comfortable and the days where it's maybe not warm enough to wear you know short short neon shorts but got them and these were I think these were a pound for those ones and then Alexander wanted to wanted me to show you these things these are the things that Alexander picked up Alexander's my son he's seven and I've never known a child that loves soft toys as much as Alexander he's it's just such a lovely thing, like, seeing him with him, he always goes to bed with a soft toy, he always cuddles a soft toy and he like, looks after them, like he'll put them into my bed when he goes away to school and say, Mum, will you look after them? And he'll cover them up and he tucks them in and everything. It's just, it's really, really sweet. He really loves these soft toys. So he picked up this. This was, and I said, it's got like pink stripes on it and stuff, but that doesn't, although he's a little boy, it doesn't bother him at all that things, in fact, there's a little toy he's got. There's a little teddy that he's got and it's got like a pink and white striped tail and stuff and that does not put him off in any way. I know like some boys are like, uh, no, I'm not wearing pink and I'm not, he is not one of those. So this is just a little, oh, it's just so cute. Look, it's got a fluffy little head, little elephant, little pink striped feet. The teddies were, I can't even remember how much they were, but there was none that was more than 30 pence and for most of them, I think she charged me like 10 pence for the teddies. So there's just this little, and he's got a little rope tail. These are gonna go in the washing machine. Today is a miserable day and it's raining and I think tomorrow's to be the same, but whenever we get a dry day, I will be putting these in the washing machine and I can peg them out on the line and get them all nice and dry and fresh. So there's that little elephant there. And he's got a thing for rabbits as well because he has a rabbit, so he likes rabbit teddies. This teddy is really cute to look at, but it's got that fur. I don't know if, like, if I show you. It's got that kind of fur that I don't particularly, it's not like that one that's all nice and soft. It's got, it's not like velvet, but you know that feeling? Like, it's not really a really nice feeling toy. 
this is maybe one that we'll just put on a shelf and look at. Maybe he likes it, but I don't know. There's it's got like a funny feeling to it's for. Anyway, there's this little rabbit. He had to get this one. It's very cute. And I think we're nearly out of. We have got two more teddies. This one, uh, this is adorable. This was sort of my like me going. What about that one? And he's like, Oh no, I look, I, no, no, what, 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 what? But really, it was me that liked that one. I'm like, What about this one? Don't you think that's cute? Oh look how cute! I'm sure this one would want to go home with you. So I kind of talked to him into this, but he does really love it. I just think it's adorable and if he didn't want it I kind of wanted it. It's one of those little TY toys and it's still got its little tag thing on it and it's got like the little beanie bum, like little squishy beanie bum. It's just adorable, it's just a little bumblebee, it's so cute. And then he really loves this one, he went to bed with this one last night even though I have, didn't wash it, I did like spray it with disinfectant, he couldn't wait to use it so I had to come to bed. It says baby Nat on it, which I think somebody's had made to give to a baby, but he's decided that this rabbit is called baby Nat, and this is like obviously for a baby, like a very small baby, maybe like a little cram toy or a little toy to have in the cot, like a comforting thing, you know, like babies like to, I don't know, like rub stuff. He likes this because, like I said, he likes like cosy his teddies in, so he likes this one because he can cosy it up and make its own wee bed and like. He just loves it and it's ever so cute and I think it was like 10 pence or something so there's that and I think that is apart from the one that he's he's sitting downstairs watching telly and he's got the other little teddy with him. Right I'm going to, I'm going to oh, sorry about the rustling, I'm going, to, I'm going to lift everything out and then that way I don't need to keep ducking down off of camera. Right this I picked up, this was 80 pence and it's originally from Avon and it's the kids shampoo and conditioner tear free and it's in the, you can see the 80 pence sticker on it and it's like kids basically shampoo and conditioner on one and it's in a watermelon scent and Alexander likes, he always says that watermelon reminds him of when we were in Gran Canaria because he had those, you know those watermelon ice lollies so I thought anything, see anything, anything at all that can convince him into the shower, he hates showering. So anything at all to make it easier, I will pick up. There's a, a home bargains haul to do as well and there's stuff in there that will like coax him into the shower. So this was to try and get him into the shower, that was 80 pence. And then I picked up some jewelry. Oh, wait, I'll do this one first because this is Mark's buy and he wanted to include it. This is a ThinkPad backpack. Mark always uses a backpack and the one that he's got is so scruffy. I've been trying to get him to get rid of it for ages. He's finally going to get rid of it because he has this replacement now. He picked this, this was £3 at the jumbo sale and it's a really good, like make, it looks at brand new, completely brand new. It's got a pouch thing, like a little secret pouch thing at the back. It's got nice padded straps. I think it's for like laptop kind of type bag. It's got a little pouch thing that detaches in here and it's got lots of little zip pockets and compartments and I think this I don't know like the brand of anything but it feels like it's been like a really like it would be a good quality brand like it would be quite expensive and it's brand new and he got it for three pounds and I'm just grateful that we get to chuck the scruffy one out that he's been using because it is awful oh, next thing I got is this that I hate the feeling of this box is fine but I hate the feeling of the velvet stuff on the inside this is a necklace this was £1.50 for this I'll take it out of the box so I can show you I like like this is how all the jewellery is displayed instead of it just being all thing we do it's all in little boxes and things it's just they just do it really well like everything's just laid out so well at this little jumbo sale this has got a magnetic magnetic closure which I really like because I hate trying to faff about with the closures and this one you can just put on yourself and hold on as easy as that and then I've got another necklace on so it's not sitting right. But I thought that would look quite nice because it sits on the neckline. You could sit it a little bit further back, like choker type style or sit it like that. I just like the way it sat and it's just, I don't know, it's a little bit unusual, but it could go, you could wear it dressy or you could wear it casual. And I like the magnetic thing. So there's that. This is my box that I don't like. Oh, and the things fell out of it. This is another necklace. This is just, it's got like the little adjustable thing. I think this will be quite short actually. This will probably be choker length. And then it's got this little, I don't know what you would call that, like a little horn tooth. I don't know what you call it. Kind of like looks like a little tusk type thing and it's black. And I just like that. And I thought it would go with a lot of things that I wear. So I like that. It's not real silver or anything, but I liked it. And that one was, let me see if there's a price in it. I'm sure it was 
50 pence. I'm sure this one was 50 pence. So there's that. And this one here, this was, this has got the price in it. This was 50 pence and this is a ring. I really like unusual jewellery and I like, like big huge jewellery pieces and things like statementy jewellery. And this is definitely a huge ring. It's got the adjustable, you know, like ele electric, what? Elastic band so it can like fit on any of your fingers. I like a middle finger. It's very like risen, so it's very. I don't know. It's very big, and it's like a pe peachy nudie color, but around the outside is more sort of pink. So it excuse my horrible nails. It's yeah, I like it. It's nice. It's got a pink sort of tone around the side, and it's just a really big ring, and I like it. And it was fifty pence, and that is me done. Apart from the pillar and the drawers which I'll put in. Pillar was £5 and the little tiny chest of drawers that are very, I think they're very, very old. But after, I don't know, anyway, they were £2. So I'll put a clip in of that now and I will carry on and film another two hauls so I will have them up for you very soon. I'm so glad to be back with you and I really genuinely mean it when I say I have really, really missed you guys. I've missed getting your messages and comments and I've just, I've missed this. So I'm so happy to be back. And hopefully I'll be able to film some of these things when I'm on holiday because that's like six weeks. So if I don't do that, it'll be another like two months before I have a video. Anyway, I will do my best. We'll see what I can get done and I will see you guys really, really soon. Thank you so much for watching. If there's still anybody watching, I really hope there is. Anyway, see you really soon. Bye.